Okay. I think we're ready. Let's see if I can get any sound out of this computer. That sounds good. Maybe turn that down a smidge. Turn this up a smidge. A smidge. No, that's not gonna work. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, how about that? That that's a little better. Yep. Oh no. Oh, this one. This one here. There we go. All right. Three, two, wait, hold on. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Flippy Monkey's fighting game Phantasmagoria has finally started. That's pretty good. Nobody's on the couch, but we'll figure that out soon. Let me uh, grab some stuff here. Uh, yeah. Got Ben making beats. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm wearing a green shirt. Whatever. It's just how this goes. It's the way the day's been. Actually, the day's been really good. No, no lie. Uh, had a nice stream yesterday with the new Paradise with Steven. That was pretty cool. Um, and today, we are going to play some Path of Exile. Let me get the chat up here. Uh, <laughs> what is that under? Of course it's under that. Why would it not be? All right. Turn the sound down. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I had a bit of a burrito earlier. All right. <coughs> Chat's open. Chill for a bit. So, Path of Exile to Fall of Oriath. I think Fall of Oriath is the new expansion that came out a little while ago. Um, I've been playing this game. Dude, that's awesome. I had a burrito. You had a burrito. We've completed burritos, Dogan. How you doing, man? How's it going? <sighs> so yeah, I started playing this when I first saw it in beta, actually. I was in living in Mexico City at the time. Um, I don't know, I was kind of, let's see, where was I at that time? I think I was still in, um, cool, not bad, awesome, same here. Same here, still having car issues, um, but hopefully that'll be remedied in the next day, and then I will hopefully be able to confirm that in the next couple weeks. Dude, me too, like, I didn't eat too long ago, Bur uh, Burrito. Actually, his name is Burrito. Jake, Mr. Burrito himself, um, he went to Chipotle for us, because he's being a baller. Took his scooter down there, uh, picked up some Chipotle, came back, it was nice. Um, I had the steak and chorizo burrito. I do the half and half because chorizo is amazing, but a little overpowering all by itself. And uh, steak is good, but you know, I mean, it's rather have the carnitas. So, you know, trying to avoid that. So I got half and half uh, before I try to do be productive again. Well, you know, that's cool. That's cool. I'll get into it in like just a sec. Oh, nice. Where are you at, actually? Where Where are you at, Dogen? Where Where are you? What are you up to? Where are you at? Like, I don't, I don't know. I should probably do this more often. Um. So yeah, I was living in Coyoacan at the time. I got a steak, but I forgot. I don't really like steak. Still good though. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, steak, I mean, you know, steak is really kind of how I go. The asada, if you will, um, is really good. Uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. 
cool, cool. It's cloudy here in Santa Clarita. So I guess we're feeling that bay, that bay feeling kind of. It's cool, cloudy. Uh, okay, a little too spicy, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it depends on how you get it. I got a friend of mine up there in Santa Rosa. Him and his family are up there. It's pretty cool. Got to visit him someday, probably next year. Um, so, yeah, I, I was living in Coyacan, which is really um, Tlalpan. And I don't know, I was bored. I was working at the time. I was teaching English um, to Mexican people, which was neat. Um, and they were teaching me Spanish, which was neat. Uh, and then, I don't know, I was like bored because like my girlfriend at the time was studying to be a uh, <coughs> doctor. So she was out a lot doing doctor stuff and in Mexico, they have to like travel around the country and stuff and like, you know, help different parts of the, the country because there's parts of Mexico that are extraordinarily wealthy and everybody else is really, really poor. So, um, and there's, there's an in-between, it's just not that big. It's not as big a middle class as, well, I don't know anymore, but it's not as big probably as the United States. Um, so yeah, I was, I was digging around and I found this game. I was looking at Diablo three, I think was out at the time and it was a lot of money. Um, cause I was making pesos. So, which actually, to be honest, I was actually making really good money, so I didn't have a problem, but like, I don't know, I just didn't want to spend money on Diablo. I was done with, I think I was done with Blizzard. I can't remember what it was that just like turned me off to Blizzard for a little while. So I ended up finding Path of Exile and uh, got into it. So I'm going to log in here. So as you can see, I have um, uh, Flippinichi, uh, uh, Flippicus. And I don't know, Lit Litche. I don't know. I made up that name of. I made up all the names, of course. Um, and Flippicus is like level 54, so that's pretty dope. Um, the witch I tried for a while. She's cool. She's really cool. Don't get me wrong. She's cool. I just like. I don't know. I was just kind of like whatevs. Like magic is cool. Uh, Flippicus is the assassin, or what do they call that? I don't remember. Let's create a character and let's poke around. Harbinger, this is default path of exile. Uh, this option, mode disables, trade and party play. No, I don't want to do that. I don't care about hardcore. I don't worry about that because if I die, I'll just get kicked out of it. And trust me, I will die. So this dude is the you shadow. We have the Templar. Which is silly, because now I have to. Okay, and then there's we the Marauder. Yet still you He's a lovely looking man. Um, I'm not really. I don't really have a problem with spicy stuff, because, like, I went to this restaurant in Defe and I had uh, Cochinita Pibil, but it was like. When Rayclass shows you deep how fried cochinita pibil, which was dis just amazing. But they had this like salsa there. I'm gonna say it was habanero, but I could be wrong. And it was so hot, I had blisters on my tongue for like days. Days. And I don't mean like, oh, a little, little, duh, duh. Well, yeah, I mean, like, obviously, like, I just, like, I don't know, like, spicy stuff isn't really, like, oh, it's hot. It's more of, like, it tastes really good to me, because when it gets really, really hot, it ends up, like, taking on this metallic taste. And I don't know why I like it, so I like it. So there you go. Um, but, uh, you yeah, there, there was, uh, to serve God and the order there was this salsa there, man. It was just ridiculous. Like, it just burned me to like crazy i mean like all the food there is i mean the food there isn't spice like it'd be it'd be somewhat bigoted or i guess racist to say that you know clearly all hispanics or mexicans like spicy food i mean my girlfriend at the time didn't like spicy food she just didn't um she and she hated chipotle not the restaurant but the actual like 
pepper and flavor. Um, but I'll eat anything. Um, actually, it's kind of funny. When I was living there, they were really worried about me eating food there because I thought I'd just get sick and die. Um, and the truth of the matter was, is like, I was trying, like my stomach is made out of steel. So, so I ended up eating stuff that they would get sick off of, but I'd be like, totally fine. Like, I don't know what you guys are complaining about. That was great. Um, like there was this place in uh, Coxpa called, uh, Muertortas, which was really, really good. And yeah, they'd kill you if you ate the whole thing, but man, it was really good. Um... But yeah, it was it was an interesting experience. If any of you guys are curious about Mexico or Mexico this City, um, I can answer God some questions. I, I mean, I remember al obviously most of it, if not all of it, because it was a, like I spent two years there, um, and it was a wonderful time. I made some really good friends, uh, some super awesome friends um, that I still have and still talk to that are in, in Mexico City. Um, and I should probably visit them the next year as well. Um, probably more so than, than uh, other people because they're so far away and it's been, it's been like four years since I've actually been there. So, um, yeah, and I really miss them. They're really, they're really crazy. Um, uh, flip, flip. Uh, let's see, he's a priest. Flip. Flipperion? No. Flip. Uh, flip. Uh, flip. Uh, flip. Uh, flip. Uh, flip. Uh. We're going to do a pH flip. Flip. Uh, flip. Uh, let's see, what would be a good. Flip Tavius. Flip Tavius. There we go. Flip Tavius. We're going to play the Templar. I've had this like really kind of weird reawakening in like a religious sense, I guess. Not that I'm like evangelical or anything like that. That's silly. But like, I don't know. I grew up Catholic, so it's kind of like, huh, kind of want to explore the whole thing and get back into like, I don't know, meditation and prayer and stuff. So we're going to we're going to play as him. Uh, we're going to be a holy man of the cloth and we're going to destroy demons and explode people's heads, which is pretty normal for, you know, typical religious ombre. So let's do this. Uh, Fliptavius. Let's see. Fliptavius. Fliptavius. That works. We're going to click OK. Contacting server. Let's begin this. So you're an uh, exile from a, uh, what do you call it, from uh, this empire. And they throw their prisoners here, kind of. They also kind of just, like, your ship kind of ran aground. Um, and there's this, like, crazy dude that uh, runs this island. I don't know if he's the emperor or not, but he, like, he's trying to be a god. Uh, usual story, man, trying to be god. Gets too cocky. Uh, does terrible stuff to people. Mis totally misconstrues the idea of divinity. Uh, or, you know, misunderstands it. So um, we're going to click here, and he's going to wake up. So one interesting thing about this game that I really like is um, this guy's going to turn into a zombie. Uh, you and I were the only ones that made it ashore alive anyway. Looks like you found something you can defend yourself with. Good, this place is crawling with criminals. Uh, there's smoke rising just east of here. Could be worth checking out if there's... And then he's going to turn into a zombie. Or no, he's going to get eaten by a zombie. And I'm going to beat this zombie over the head, and we're good. Glacial hammer. Okay, so... Um, on the lower left, I'm pointing to the lower left. It's actually the lower right for you guys, so it's like right here. This is our health. Uh, over there, over there, like the blue over there, or sorry, over there, is uh, your magic. Um, right above my head here is the potions. All right. Um, potions just refill automatically. You don't need to buy any new ones. I think you just get better jars, and they have little effects on them and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, every time you destroy a monster, you, uh, you get a little bit of your potion back. Um, depends on the monster, of course. Um, and then what we have uh, over here is uh, we have the abilities and stuff, so right around here. So we got our health, we got our mana, so life and shield. We'll talk about shield. It's when you have magic stuff, you get gain a shield. Uh, mana, you got a little mana here. Um, basic attack, default attack, 
um, which will eventually change to a special attack once we get enough regen. Um, and then QWERT is going to be our special abilities. Then we can put special abilities in here as well. Uh, this is our experience bar. Um, we have our inventory, um, which I don't need. Skip all of the tutorial because um, I don't care. Each gem is corresponding with a color. The color goes with the sockets. You can just grab it and plop, and you can take it out. Hold on. You can, you can take it out, and you can put it back. It's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy VII in that way, where you get the, what do they call it, the materia? Somewhat like similar to that. Um, and now, as you can see right here, I have a special ability. My inventory here, there's cosmetics, if I want to change just the way I look. Um, and then we can swap out by pressing X to change our loadout at will, which is super duper, super duper, duper, duper helpful because that's going to happen. We're going to fight enemies that are going to either need fast attack um, and different abilities, different, different loadouts and whatnot. But for now, it's going to be really easy. We're level one. All right, this is a beautiful game, by the way. I love the way this game looks. It was made in, I believe, Australia uh, by Grinding Gears Games. Um, and I, I heard that they were disgruntled like Blizzard people, but I don't, you know, I don't put much you know, stock in that. I'm not them. I, didn't, I wasn't there. Um, and every company is going to have people that are just going to be like, I don't like working here. So no big deal. We're just going to beat this guy over the head, beat him over the head. Hit alt to see if we got anything. So we got a uh, splinter tower shield. We're going to pick a lot of stuff up in the beginning and be swapping stuff out a lot in the beginning. Uh, this has an AOE on it. Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh, we're going to hit alt. Nothing. So alt will reveal if there are items on the ground that we cannot see because they're not just going to tell us what they are. Um, and... The other really cool thing about this game is the leveling system, which I will show you when I level up. Uh, but for now, we're just going to kind of blaze through here. This is just the intro area. You're on the beach. It's a lovely beach. Kind of reminds me of, like, parts of Santa Monica um, back in, like, the late 80s um, when nobody seemed to care about Santa Monica Beach. Um, now it seems like it's doing well. Look at that wave. That's so cool. That's really neat. Um... So we're easy, we're, you know, we're uncovering the map as we do this. Homeboy's getting hit like crazy. I'm gonna do a little health thing here. <sighs> this is like one of the more relaxing games. You can kind of just kind of get lost in it. it. It gets intense at times, but I mean, and, and can be frustrating. For example, like, I don't know, um, there's parts of like some of the final city areas that can be a little overwhelming at times. We got like, lots of really like buff dudes like coming at you and you're just like man I, I just I'm just not there yet man I'm just not there yet okay so plate vest we're gonna pick that up there we go um, so yeah reason why we're just kind of picking everything up is because we're basically naked right now we've got nothing on us so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of collect a bunch of stuff and then we're gonna make it to the beginning area which is like this little uh, what you call it's like a little like outpost or something. I mean, it's kind of ramshackle. Those hurt now. I didn't know those hurt. They used to not, or at least very little. So we're gonna heal up on that. Ooh, look, a large chest. Elemental proliferation support. Supports any skill that hits enemies or could otherwise apply elemental ailments. Okay, I've never seen that before. It's a chance to freeze, shock, or ignite. Elemental ailments cause uh, caused by support skills spread to other enemies within a 10, I'm assuming, meter radius. So, not too shabby. Um, it's a blue. So what we can do is we can connect this to here. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And now it has this ability because it's connected to um, here. So the glacier hammer, yeah, right? So the glacier hammer will now also have the attribute of Increasing a chance to freeze and uh, hit enemies within 10 meters. So that's pretty neat. Um, you taking off? Have a good night, man. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're just kind of like wandering around here, picking stuff up. Oh, by the way, guys, I just want to remind you today is Ben's birthday. I don't know if you guys know that. He's an old man now, He's, he just turned 30. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe we should, 
You know what we should do? We should get him like a like I don't know, like a a, a membership to like um oh, we should do like AAR, AARP or something. That's what we should do. We should get Ben an AARP an AARP card. That's that's definitely what we should do. I got mine at 25, so people are just looking at me like, "Man, you got you're old. Get out of here." So, but yeah, so if everybody, you know, anybody in chat, yeah, right, nice waves. Um, yeah, right, like I'm 37, just to, as a confession. I mean, I know I look, people always tell me I look a lot younger. I blame my mother because she's Asian. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, everybody, if you're on, uh, if you're on Twitch here, you're on Discord or something, you know, Ben, Ben, Ben could use the, the happy birthday wishes and, uh, and unmarked, small unmarked bills of cash. That's also good, too. Ones, twos, fives, and tens. That's what he says. And man, those twos are going to come in and like, like crazy. Those are, those are important. Two dollar bills, man. Don't underestimate them. Yeah, can you get those Hamiltons out there? Um, so now I'm fighting this big, ugly homeboy called H Hillock. He's like the main zombie guy. Uh, and as you can tell, I'm just going to basically do this and just kind of pound him. Like, this is really just your easy, like, oh, there we go. And I leveled up. So that's pretty dope. I got a crude bow, which I don't really need. I got a mana flask, a scepter, corroded blade, and another corroded blade. That's great. You know, get some pretty crappy weapons out of this. I don't know how I want to play this guy. I'm probably going to play as, like, a two-handed staff. Like, just do the whole, like... Little John thing, you know, from Robin Hood, if anybody remembers Robin Hood. Um, plate vest, 19. Driftwood Mall, two handed, but it's not a staff. I want a staff. Um, I need a staff. Green, oh, see, this has got two more sockets, so we're going to put that there. This is a medium f mana flask. We're going to keep that. So we're pretty much going to sell all this stuff, and you're going to see where that's going to go. Um, and I leveled up. So now that I've leveled up, um, I've completed a quest because the first quest is enemy at the gate, you know, kill Hillock, zombie attacks the town, enter through the gate for my rewards. So that's pretty cool. But then I also have passive skill points. That's pretty nuts, right? So check this out. Each character kind of inhabits a zone, right? So there's like where these guys are, each one of those hubs is where like one of the characters goes, hey, Gary, how's it going? If we don't get our tolls then we don't eat no rolls. That's true. That's true. Somebody's going to have to go back and... What was that? Somebody's going to have to go back and get a shitload of dimes. Where's that from? Huh? Where's that from? Uh, there's lots of factors. And looking young, this looks like better Diablo 3. It is a better Diablo 3, and it's completely free. That's the other thing. Is It's totally free. You can go on Steam right now if you want, download it, update it. You can put some money into it. Like, I gave them five bucks when I first... Or four bucks? I don't know. Um, when I first downloaded it, because, I don't know, I was like, yeah, you know, these guys could use some help. Um, and I figured five bucks is about right. I was like, like I said, I was a little bitter about video games. I was like, I don't want to pay for video games anymore. They suck. Um, so, yeah, so I ended up giving five bucks. And it ended up, I think I got like an expansion to my inventory. I think I, was, I got like three or four extra pages of inventory. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy X. Yeah, like basically that. Like basically Final Fantasy X. Which, 10 and 12, actually reminds me more of 12, right? 12 is the one with the, uh, with that active system, <coughs> um, but really reminds me of 12, where you can kind of just do whatever. You can just make somebody into something, like, and if you like a particular style of fighting, it didn't matter if that really fit that archetype of the character themselves, like their visual archetype. Um, like, I know the main character in 12, I made him, like, ninja. So he would always do, like, he would take, like, the katana, and he'd always do gravity damage, which, I mean, you know, gravity damage is cool. It, you do your regular attack, and then you, d you take half, and it, it, they'll take half of an extra thing or whatever. Um, so anyway, with these, you can, you know, this is generally where you're going to live for the first, you know, uh, quarter of the game. Um, you're going to see how I approach these games. I'm very meticulous because that's how I am. Um, and there's going to be chat here. I, I'm not responsible for what people say here. I have no idea what the deal deal is with this. Um, yeah, I'm not responsible for that. Um, so, but yeah, once this is done, though, once I kind of figure out how I want to approach this, 
Then I'm going to start looking at, like, what does this do? Oh, totem damage. What does that do? Fire damage, uh, elemental damage, staff. So, like, I know I want to use a staff, so I'm probably going to go into here. Um, <coughs> endurance charges, life, right? You're going to get life stuff. Shield. Probably not going to get a shield because I have a two-handed staff, but you never know. Um, staff and mace attack speed um, uh, and armor. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, see, I already started planning ahead. Herd, of, herd the flock. Minions have 16% of all elemental resistances plus one maximum number of zombies. I don't know if I'm going to be resurrecting zombies. That's I did that a lot with the, with the witch. Um, I know I had a low level of witch, but I also had a high level witch at a while a while ago. So we're gonna do um, health and mana regeneration. We're gonna do that for probably a little while until we get to here, sanctity, and then it'll be 20% increase to armor, 10% increase to energy shield, 1% of life regeneration uh, per second, and plus 10 to strength and intelligence. And then once we get to there. <coughs> we may go into precision, discipline, training. Probably go into here, get some elemental damage. We'll probably just fill this out completely. And then I'll figure out how I want to branch off from there. So I'm going to put a little ding dong right here. Boom. I'm going to apply the point. And there we go. So now I have a little bit of extra health and a little better mana regeneration. So now I'm going to go inside here, which is the little, little camp. Oh, dude opens the door for me like a gentleman. That's nice. Uh, this is Lion Eye's Watch. I totally forgot. So this is Lion Eye's Watch. Uh, nothing going on over here. This is like the front yard. Um, it's at, you know, for a front yard, that's not too shabby. I mean, if you look at what they're dealing with, they did a good job, I think. Oh, there's a homeboy running away. Uh, and he took, I disappeared. He disappeared. Uh, this is the portals. These are going to be important because we're going to be coming back often. I wouldn't say often, but we're going to be coming back now and again because you have to play Inventory Tetris. This is all the inventory I can carry. So there's going to be a lot of inventory touches, which I like. I mean, a lot of people don't, but I like it. So, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to let the story kind of run. You guys can pick it up as, I, as it goes. I'm just going to chat. Um, you can probably hide the chat if you want. Probably, right? Like, it's got to be in here somewhere. Overlay options. Social screen. Friends, I have no friends. So I have Pulaka, Captain Kill, Dragonius, Onslaught, Delete. Um. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Yeah. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and sea water. Uh, is there a? Can I right click? What is this? Chat. Oh, here we go. I can set this to whispers? No. Turn that off, turn that off. Only have whispers on and exit out. Goodbye. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. Somebody's smarter than me. Um, okay, we're going to talk to Bestel. Um, <coughs> so, at least chat's out of the way. Um, see that dude there? Like, that guy was nuts looking. So you can get a lot of, like, vanity items and stuff and, and buy, like, vanity stuff. You can buy inventory slots and not on your character but in the treasure chest here which I'm gonna look at because I'm sure either I don't have anything in there or it's a complete garbage mess um, probably a complete garbage mess um, so you know <coughs> we'll do that uh, yeah so talk 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 uh, what else is there I redid some of the uh, ticker stuff, as you guys can see. I hope you guys like it. I'll probably move that chat over a scotch to the right. So I have the Patreon thing up there now. I created a whole other, like, live stream file for this. Like, because I was just being lazy, and I was like, oh, I'll just use Power Block, whatever. But now I have this, which will be the Flippy Monkey thing. And... Um, I don't know, maybe in the next couple weeks or maybe in a week or so, I'll bring Nadine back here and she'll play some games. The thing about getting Destiny 2 and then putting a gun to her head and making her play that. Um, <coughs> um, but, so I have the Patreon thing up there. Remember, if you want to support uh, Min Potion uh, and me and Ben and Robbie and Jake and Matt and Sophie, uh, who is the most important person in the entire world, um, 
then you become a patron. And I think we've been doing actually pretty good with streaming. I'm going to try to keep it up. We added a new stream. We added Paradise. Dogen, I don't know if you were there. Garion was there. Um, I don't know if Dogen was there to see it. But we had Paradise, which is going to be our tabletop gaming stream. We did some Warhammer. Probably going to continue doing a little Warhammer until we pick up some other games um, and, and goof around in that way. Um, Steven's kind of the, the, the War Master. Well, Steven is the War Master, so he's really going to be the one to kind of manage that. But I'm here to, like, you know, set up the stream, make things good, play against him, because I like Warhammer. It's not a bad thing. Um, so, I, you know, I'll play against him every now and again. But, you know, he'll bring in people that are certainly much more learned of the whole thing. I missed, I missed it while I was at work. You can probably hide the... Ch okay, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, you, you, yeah, you missed it while you were at work. I'm sorry. Um, well, it's it should it probably be on our um, YouTube uh, if you want to just kind of scan through it. <coughs> what we did was, Dogen, we went through basically a very small match between Steven and I. Um, I was woefully underpowered. We didn't even check to see what like we didn't even do like a balance thing at it at all like point wise. Um, so I got obliterated, but it got us into it. Pretty much, we went step by step through all the basics of the game except for melee combat and psychic stuff like the psychic phase um but it, it went pretty smoothly i mean it only took us about two hours um so that's really cool um Ooh, yes, so we're going to continue to do that hopefully do other games and stuff and if you guys have other tabletop games or board games <coughs> you can shoot it onto discord um excuse me hold on <coughs> Um, <coughs> I'm going to go get some water, actually. One sec, guys. <coughs> yeah, let me, let's drown dead. We'll t we'll, you guys can listen to about how the drowned dead, which sounds lovely, how that works. I'm going to actually make some tea. Ben left me cigarettes. That's great. Ben's a great guy. It's his birthday, and he's still thinking of me. Um, hot green tea, man. That's, 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 the, that's my jam. It's been my jam for, like... Man, it's I've been drinking this stuff forever. I don't remember what it was. Oh, you know what I started out with? You guys are gonna laugh. So when I was younger, and I'm talking like I don't know, 19 or something, 18, 19, you know, and when, when I first struck out on my own as a young man in the world, I wanted to be healthy. So I was like, oh, green tea, you know, that was a big thing in the late 90s, like antioxidants and stuff like that. So my dumbass decided, oh, I'll just get Arizona green teas. Like, that's going to work. I mean, I was young, so I pretty much burned through everything I ate and drank. But not so much anymore. So let me go get some water for now. But I have the tea there. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> Man. I still have, like, these weird tingly feelings in my hands from lord knows what but whatever i'll get through it whatever doesn't kill me right makes me stronger and then i'll become goku and i'll be super saiyan god Fine work with um Where'd you learn to fight tarkley he's a good guy he runs the shop here uh well not the shop he they all run a shop but he runs the the camp here so <coughs> so yeah, I, I drank Arizona green teas as a way of, of being healthy. I don't know if that's probably the best way to go about it, but I did. Also, not sure how much green tea is grown in Arizona, but whatevs. <sighs> wow, my heart's racing again. All right. <coughs> oh, I get to pick something here. Let's see. Molten Strike. Frost Bolt. Magma Orb. And Lightning Tendrils. Ooh. So, I usually go with a theme, like an elemental theme, with each one of my characters when I, you know, for the first run through, because you can do many run throughs. This game it gets harder and get more stuff. Um, and so I'm thinking because this guy's a Templar, because he's a priest, he's gonna rain down fire, right? So, um, Molten Strike is a projectile attack, AOE melee fire. Attack a target with physical and fire damage, causing balls of molten magma to launch forth from your weapon as you swing. These will explode, causing AOE attack damage to enemies while they land. Interesting. What do I have here? I have Glacial Hammer. Uh, magma Orb. 
Lava fiery orb that explodes. Okay, I don't want to go ranged. This guy's going to be in people's faces, so we're going to do that. We're going to take that. Okay, then we're going to learn about Lion Eyes Watch. This is the place. I don't know if you guys can hear the game. If you can't hear the game, hold on a second. Maybe I have to turn the sound up. There you go. In its day, Lion Eyes Watch could be defended by just a small there you go. garrison That's better. of well I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's turn that down to like Why not? A handful of starving criminals with driftwood clubs and rusted hatchets. Okay, so that's cool. The Eternal Empire has some right nasty leftovers. Whether it's something in the air or in the water, no one stays dead in Ray Class. Ray Class, that's not the, name the first of the time. It can take a little while, but sooner or while. later, Sorry, corpses yeah. wake up and go looking for breakfast. Uh, okay, we're gonna talk about Bestel. That hat Bestel wears? Saw him pluck it from the real captain's head right before the cannibals barbecued the poor bastard. Waste not, want not, I suppose. Yes, Vestal's got a gift for telling tales, but I'd never call him a liar. The truth's always in there. You just have to listen for it. You know, that's, I like that. You know, here's a guy who embellishes, he adds color, he's a performer. But there's truth in what he says. You know, it's not like he's just making schnitzels up. You know, I mean, I always thought it was weird when somebody would embellish in a story and like, oh, you're a lion. No, it's called telling a story and being entertaining, you dick. All right, Nessa. Nessa's the one keeps the rest of us from losing our minds. To be honest, when she first arrived, I didn't think she'd survive more than a day, two at most. She's been proving me wrong every dawn since. Heard a bard once sing that the fairest flowers bloom in the foulest places. Come on. She's bloody well right. Here we go. Here's Brianna. She's our little buddy. <laughs> you going home? All right. What else are you gonna do? Oh, you have to pack, huh? That's exciting. That's exciting. No, not very exciting. So, we got, we're, we're playing Path of Exile. It's good, I'm just going through the story, you know, kind of explaining things to peeps. You know, let them know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, oh, see, there you go, Dogen said, hey. Dogen's one of our long timers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is Jake's main squeeze. <laughs> oh, it's public now. Oh, it's out of one. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> Mama B. <laughs> I gotta go now, guys. <laughs> well, it's nice seeing you. All right, all right, all right. Bye, 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 bye. All right. Have a safe drive home. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. So, um. Back to the game. All right, Letters of Exile. Let's, let's do this. I've seen many an exile pass through uh, Lion Eyes Watch. So, yeah. And many more that simply pass on. Oh, oh, so we're talking about the Those characters here. So, Nessa, she's track. the only woman I'll here that I can see, which is great. Like, you always to need all, a woman's touch, you know, and affection. Because you get too many dudes in a row. It's just, it just gets bad. It just gets bad. So, I'm going to sell on this crap. Um, hold on. There we go. So, you hit Control and Left Click. Boom. And as you can see, it turns. You don't get money in this game. I don't know if you guys know that. You don't actually get gold. You get scrolls of, of wisdom, which are like identification scrolls. You get scroll fragments. Every five, you're going to get another scroll of wisdom. And every now and then, you get a transmutation shard, which will become an orb of transmutation. And what's going to happen is, so I get those. As you can see, they're in here. I'll keep these. Um, Stay sharp. Over out here. There. I'm going to go in here. Boom. Oh wow, I guess I have to go to one of my older characters. That's cool, whatever. Um, and then I'm gonna go, boom, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. Uh, Molten Strike, I'm gonna, re yeah, I'm gonna replace with Glacial Hammer. So put Glacial Hammer in there. Um, this is level three, so we're gonna keep that, cause that's mana, we'll be able to put that in here at some point. It's bigger, so we're gonna get um, 90 mana recovered instead of 60, so that's not too shabby. Um, oh, I didn't really need this, but yeah, I don't need this, so we're gonna sell that. Um, reason why is because at some point I'm gonna want to get a dual well, sta staff. Dual staff. Um, Farewell. Um, and so, boom, done. All right, I'm gonna get a two-handed staff, and I don't want to have to carry a shield around. Might as well sell it while I got it. Quest complete. Enemy at the gates. We're good. New quest. Uh, Mercy mission, which will be here. 
Uh, I haven't been here, so there are question marks. This is all of Ray class. This is just Act 1. Act 2 will bring us further into the island. Um, so, yeah, let's see what these guys... Okay, so Tarkley. Tarkley, rescued from the waves. A stricken bestial, fate slave. From fallen crew and broken bar. Oh, uh, you know what? This gives me an idea. Lives. Thanks to Tarkley. This Tark. is giving me ideas. <laughs> Oh man. So I'm gonna start designing a game. I'm sorry, let me yours. rephrase that. Tark, a long as time ago, as find on this when I was 25, coast. 24, 25, 26, right, no 25, 26, what they are, I've never um, asked, I, I never was will. living with Ben not for Tark, and a bunch of other dudes at this dead. house in Van Nuys, which is in the San Fernando Valley, not the Santa Clarita Valley. It was in the San Fernando Valley. And um, craziest thing, I came up with this really kind of whack a loons idea of, um, oh cool, we have five viewers, get out of here, um, of a game, and I, uh, I was talking to Ben about it last week, I've been thinking a lot about it, I've been doing sketches, and it's kind of like one of those games where it's the one, you know, like, she's the one, it's the one, um, and so... I don't know, working title, uh, you know, but it's going to be, it's just, I'm letting you guys know. I just, I, I'm going to be working on New Ren, which I've been doing, which actually I figured out how to unwrap in Maya pretty much on my own, except Ben pressed the seven button so I could see the texture, um, which is great. But I've been working on New Ren. Uh, I'm doing one of the cinematic levels or one of the cinematic stages, which is like in this canyon and there's like shacks and stuff later. Um, and that was pretty dope. So yeah, so um, I kind of need two other things to do. Um, I have one game that's gonna be a puzzle game that I want to put together and another game that is my main love of my life, which will probably take a couple years. Um, but who cares? It'll probably make ridiculous amounts of money because it's going to be amazing and people are going to be happy. I don't care about the money. They're going to play it and they're like, this is great. Um, we're going to listen about Besto. The Merry Gull ran so, around the Tidal Island yeah, trying to escape from pirates. Yeah, that's what I've been doing pirates. here. Practicing to piano, piano every, every day. Her crew met a far um, that's fate. been like a big thing Cannibals. for me. I've kind of been playing the guitar. The, the, we have this little tailor that I've been wreckage. playing. Um, that was, that's been survivor. fun. Whether the ordeal fractured his mind or whether it was just in his nature so all Ben's along, kind of carting my butt everywhere, it's clear that Bestel serves nice a different course to, to the rest of us. Um, trying to think what else. Sitting in on OKKO stuff, I'm not really participating as much because I don't have the hardware. Like, I need a laptop and I need, like, Ableton. I think that's the two things I would really, really need at the moment. Because I have the Akai, I have that MPC Studio, and I probably should get like a, uh, whatchamacallit, MIDI keyboard. Um, yeah, MIDI keyboard. Probably one of those M Audios or something. Um, but that's really kind of what I've been doing. Uh, other than that, just kind of, as some people say, moping around, because uh, I don't have my car, and uh, you know, that could be a pain in the butt. I don't know if I mentioned that on my car. While we live, we are blessed. Um, Talking with Sophie a lot. She's my little sister. So, well, it's not little. She's my sister. Uh, so I've been talking with Sophie a lot. Um, hanging out with friends when I can. What where I in can. God's name is that um, smell? What does this look like? Oh, that's cool. Um, so should, 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 oh, ball. are special. Alright, 
That's not too shabby. Almost died, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Almost died a couple times in my life. It's one more, one more event, right? Um, whew, that was a bit intense. Kind of, you know, I'm just playing the game here, and then these lightning guys just show up. Bam! So, oh, okay, so the gems also level up, which I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with that concept of like material, material level up. Uh, and, like, uh, so that's pretty cool. Flash shank, portal scroll. Portal scroll will open up a portal that allows me to go to the town and back once. So I can go to the town and then I can come back and then the portal disappears. So it's really important to make sure you get that right. That's not gross at all. Um, what else we got going on here? Uh, crabs. Uh, I suggest no one ever gets crabs. That was the third time I got crabs. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna level this up, sorry. Inventory, nothing new, nothing I want. Okay, so. So did anybody figure out where that line came from? Someone's gonna have to go back and get a shit. Like that. They're on my desk. But not all of them. Just take one, dude. Just take one. I mean, you take one at least. He's got a small bladder. Yeah. He's such a dainty man. Kong's canoe um, struck this sand with the so this force is, uh, of like destiny. These story hubs. I didn't At his have back, these before. the greatest war host um, in Cardu oh, history tamed attacked, the really? wild this sea, their canoes the coupling with the land oh, one just, by oh, one. Right. Okay, cool. Lion eyes gemlings so met us with away, shining metal off. and bold words. So nice Hyrie's arrows just, withered their pride. Kong's axes silenced their despair. Marseilles Lion Eye fought bravely to the last. Calm honored him with a place on his belt. Calm has shown Rayclast our Karui strength. Calm will teach Rayclast Karui way. My prayers are thus answered. So he's nice. I weathered carving. I already touched that. Exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did, Robbie. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. It doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. Alright. Um I know I've I've gained a level, but I'm not really worried about it. What's going on here? Uh, not much. So how's everybody doing today? So I can also hit control and just stand in one spot. But that's usually a little better for casters, I think, or for ranged casters. Um, I like just kind of beating people over the head with a stick. It's actually not a lot. I do enjoy doing that. Um, here's a crazy story. The, from Mexico. So, in Mexico, people think like there's like, oh, drug lords and stuff, and it's cool, and they're all like these really suave guys. They're actually kind of creepy. Um, they're very violent. And uh, they don't really care about anything other than, you know, either protecting themselves or making that paper or snack and lettuce or however you want to call it, making money. Um, they don't really care. 
they're so, like, I wouldn't say that they're desperate, but they're so, like, mean that, uh, you know, she just breaks out in the middle of nowhere sometimes. And I was on my way to a restaurant, or something like that. I don't think it was Micha Khan. And, uh, you know, army rolls by. And you're like, oh, that's neat, you know. And sometimes here in the States, you know, you'll see the army roll by. And it's cool, because, you know, when the army rolls by here, they're just, they're just rolling by. They're like, oh, we gotta move these trucks from here to there. We gotta move these dudes from here to there. You know, whatever. They're not really doing anything other than that. Um, but, you know, in Mexico, when they're moving troops, they're moving troops for a reason. Um, they actually have a reason, and that's because the cartels and the drug guys are, and, like, the human traffickers guys are insane. They will just, like... I am no ooh, beast I'm of Let's see what we got here. Uh, don't need that. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's fine, I guess. Driftwood Club. Oh, I have a scepter, that's right. It's an axe. Not like the body spray. If any of you guys use axe body spray, I highly suggest you go to a department store and not use axe body spray anymore. Um, gotta have some class, guys. Gotta have some class. You know, all these ladies out there, they already know what the deal is. Okay, so that's the end of this stage. Um, they've already smelled enough axe. Waypoint, cool. Unlock the waypoint. Only five feet away from the actual place I would teleport to. Whatever. Um, I wonder if I beat the boss. Did I kill the boss already? I think I did. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna go into here. There's a mission in here. There's also a boss in here. Let's go with the inventory. I already did that. We're gonna go with this here. Skill points. Uh, we're gonna do another mana life regen thing. Oh, and then we're gonna do armor for sure. As you saw, I was losing it pretty quickly. Um, so anyway, I was on the way there. There's a bit of a firefight. And you know, it's kind of interesting because like, you know, I think when these things happen, people like assume that you're gonna panic. Everybody's gonna panic and run away. But at, there's a certain point of like peacefulness in that kind of conflict where you're just kind of sitting behind a car and shit's going down and you're just like, I'm gonna text my friends and be like, hey man, how you doing? You know, I'm on my way here. I hope you're doing well. This might be the last time you ever hear from me. You know, that's cool, right? You're just like, I mean, you know, I don't wanna worry them. I didn't wanna be like, oh, I'm in the middle of like, you know, a crazy thing going on around me and people getting their faces blown off, if you will. Like, this is somewhere you're kind of like, yeah, you know, that happens. Schnitzel's happen, you know, and uh, you just kind of live in that moment of like, this is amazing. If I survive this, this is amazing. If I die, it's also kind of amazing, right? Like, oh, you know, I got my leg shot off and this guy came by and cut my arms and my arms out. Like, that's kind of that's horrifying, but it's kind of cool. So, um, so yeah, that was neat. Um, took like, I don't know, maybe a couple hours. Yeah, you know, I think next week, well, I don't know about next week, but at some point I'll get Destiny 2, and I'm going to do that, play some of that on, on stream. That seems like a really popular game. Um that people tend to like playing and like watch, I guess like watching. Um, and then Juve came out for Blast Blue Central Fiction, which I'll probably pick up at some point. Um, ooh, Blacksmith's Whetstone. Uh, leather Cap Don't Care, Carving Stone Crab. It's a savage crab. It's not even like a regular crab, it's like Kong a savage has crab. Removed the eternal um, oh my god, really? From this coast. I gotta do this. The These guys just can't leave me alone. Get off of me. Ah, that's the second time I've gotten crabs today. Our families. Um, our families till the earth, fish the waters, Cameron streamed yesterday as well. He streamed our community summer. gaming. He played a little bit of uh, what's that game? Hearthstone. 
You like that? That's a, that was that's a neat pride game. And power um, every day. I'm not really into card Kong games like that anymore. I used to be in like magic. The time wow, excuse me, the Magic Tarly the Gathering? Has come. Um, but not so much anymore. I, 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 a lot of those collecting games just... You know, it's too much money. Um, in a sense of like, if you really want to be competitive, you kind of have to put in the dough. And I have this kind of weird thing where it's like, I have very specific leisurely hobbies. Or luxury hobbies. Um, uh... And I don't want to have to, and more and more they're now becoming like, how do I say, like physical activities. Um, so, yeah, like it's easier for me to do physical stuff now that I've been working out for a while. I'm not getting swole yet. Hopefully I'll be swole in like a couple months. I don't want to be like super swole because that's too much. Like, I don't know if you guys know about like being slow but like i mean i'm sure dogan's like super slow but um like yeah like i just like get in shape and like i was actually having a good conversation about that um apparently pinterest decided to show me that a friend of mine liked pictures of naked women that's awesome because there's nothing really better in this world than naked women um so much better than that and then my email told me that i got something at pinterest that involves naked women um so, what was I talking about? Oh, superior plate vest. Ooh, it's superior. I, am your beast okay. of I can't pick that up, so we're going to drop you because you're a jerk. We're going to pick you up. We're going to put you on. You're a regular armor vest. This, you know, I don't want that. It takes up way too much space. I don't want that either. It takes up too much space. Um, so, yeah, I'm not trying to get, like, I know the dudes at, uh, what's that? Uh, who, Yacht Club. Right, the guys who did uh, Shovel Knight, uh, which to this day just baffles me. I just like I play that game and I'm like, I don't get it. Why would he have a shovel? Why did he, why did he have a chainsaw? Right? Like, why did they call him Chainsaw Knight? And he just like cut people in half. I guess maybe they're trying to make a kids game. I don't know. Kind of silly. We're gonna do this real quick. All right, and then we'll fly. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. That was crazy. I was hitting like F1 and stuff. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it, you guys. You want to kill me. I understand this. I don't want to die. I do not want to die at all. At all. Never, 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 never. This guy's being a jerk. These guys need to go. I don't want to take this like weird chip damage from these guys. Ah, it's a great it, ice spike is a great spell, but it's only really great when I use it. And again, this is an easier boss, so I'm gonna just pick that up. That's pretty cool, right? I am no beast of burden. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the chain boots because I remember now this guy's chainmail mainly. So, Rusted Hatchet, don't care about. Darkwood Scepter. One-handed. Dealies. We're going to get rid of this glass shank. We're going to put that right there. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. So, these, I don't know what they're unidentified, right? Unidentified. Oh, medium mana flask. Boom. Done. That's nice. All right. Um, what a game. Such a neat game. All right. So now we're going to just scout, scout out around here. There's some homeboys over here. We're going to kill them. All right, dead homeboys. Homeboys over here. Kill them. Homeboy over here. Beat him in the head with a stick. Kill him. This guy. Hit him with a stick. And he's dead. That guy. Those guys are dead. Actually, they're already dead. Oh, that's neat. He's just gross. Um, all right, so now we're going to do this. Okay, I picked that up. I didn't level up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify some stuff. So this is going to be nice. Chain stuff. Portal scroll. We're going to do that. Identification scroll. Okay. Uh, 
Armor 18. Oh, but it requires minimum level of 5. So I'll have to wait on that one. Goat hide shield, not really interested in. This scepter, it's one-handed. Kinda it's kinda want the two-handed staff, man. I'm kinda holding out for the two-hander. Um, you know. I mean, for all you guys that like the one-handers, that's cool and all, but I need the I need the two-hander. You know, I like to feel like a million. Um which, by the way, talk about losing weight and, and like, feeling like, wow, man, I forgot. My mom's also black. Um, that was nice. I was like, cool. Yeah, we were talking about wieners yet last night. It was kind of funny. Just kind of how wieners are funny. What were we talking about? We cleaned up this place because, like, some dudes came by today to, like, do an inspection and stuff. And, like, you know, Rob Robbie gets worried. This is Robbie, and he, he worries about us um, all the time. That's what happens when you're Papa Robbie. Um, so, yeah, we, were, we cleaned up. We cleaned up so much. For some reason, somebody, not me, um, certainly not me, unplugged everything here in this setup. I have no idea what was going on. Not a clue. Um, not a clue as to what was going on or what was going through people's heads. Everything here was unplugged, and we have the TV, a TV, obviously the keyboard, mouse, we got the computer, we got a switch, we got Atmos, we got this whole headphone communication setup, we got just, just stuff. We have a Surface that's supposed to have our chat on it, but we forgot the password to it. Lovely. Um, we're going to continue. Are we going to continue? No, we got to sell stuff, man. We're going to sell some stuff. So this level, this stage that I'm in, isn't going to reset unless I'm out of it, I think, for more than five or five minutes or so. So we're going to go back here. We're going to sell some schnitzels real fast because I don't remember what Still the reward alive, is. So I'm going to just be like, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, and you're gone. And we're going to keep these... that and then we're gonna accept boom done and we're gonna ask him about cannibals cannibals eat people like they're are. people who eat people but cannibalism is any animal or creature that eats its own kind um is not yeah close to being so what else is there um farewell do 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 uh i'm gonna go here i'm gonna drop that off see now i had five it became, or I had three, I had put out a three, it became six, I have one left over. Boom, done, mathematics, it's beautiful. Um, that's good, that's good, that's good. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. We're gonna keep this here, because we can replace this at some point. We're probably just gonna drop it on the ground, because it's a cheap item. Um, cool, she's gonna take this whole deal, and she's like, oh, thank you so much for helping us with medical supplies. And I'm like, that's cool. You're the only chick on the island, so peace. Much to offer in return, but peace. You know, beggars Take can't be choosers, and in this sense, I'm not begging, so I'm not going to make a choice. Uh, we have medium, medium, or a silver flask, which increases movement speed, which I don't care about, so I'm going to get a medium life flask. Um, and then I'm going to say goodbye, hey, and then I'm going to talk to him. So, you managed to salvage shaky hands dragovy. Nicely done. Hey. Yes, we'll put it to good use. More than that, be numbed quack off doing everything. All right, continue. Good. All right. So everybody seems to be happy here. Got a job for you, if you're willing. There's a pool near the mud flats needs investigating. You'll smell it before you see it. it stinks like a carcass in high summer. But that's not the why worst. Why would? Why would? Why? Dead birds walking. What? Animals Dead birds walking? What? Again, the same as people do here. I mean, like, well, honestly, guys, if you were like, if this, if, okay, let's just hypothetical here. You wash ashore on an island. Okay, the ship you're on was a prisoner ship. You know, you violated some crazy law or some crap. And, you know, you're caught juggling puppies, right? Um, and you wash ashore, okay? Dude's like, you know, laying there. He's like, oh man, I'm, 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 I'm dying, man. But you know, we survived. And then he gets eaten. 
by the undead. Now, instinctually, like just like kind of on reaction, you're gonna do one of two things. You're either gonna freeze and get eaten, right? You're gonna be like, oh, I don't know what to do, and you're gonna get eaten. Which, by the way, guys, you should practice uh, being out of your elements so you don't freeze up during uncomfortable situations. Uh, or you're going to kind of fall into this moment of like, I need to bash this thing's head in. You're gonna do it, and you'll be done with it, right? Um, Stay sharp out there. Let me make sure I got everything. We're gonna put you here, and then we're gonna sell you Welcome. like this. No, I don't want to buy stuff. I want to sell stuff. Boom. Um, anyway, accept. Um, Stay sharp out. You know, and then this guy's like, "Hey, man." We're so glad that you helped us get the medicine and stuff. And you're like, yeah, dude, can I get like an apartment or something? Like a tent? He's like, you know what? I got something better for you. How about you go out to the mud flats, which is going to be this area here. You go out to the mud flats. It's going to smell awful. Like, it's going to smell worse than. Oh, what was the name of the stage? Oh, not the stage. Well, kind of. The stage in the Labyrinth movie The Bog of Infinite. No, The Bog of Infinite Sadness was. Um, never ending story. Um, what was the stinky bog or the stinky swamp in Labyrinth? What was that called? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what it was called. Um, so, alright, explosion. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. What was that called? Driftwood Mall, two-handed weapon. Let's see here. Let's see what this... No. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want to use it. Um, What was that thing called? Anyway, so then, oh, look, and there's these giant, like, raptors, right? They have no skin. That's normal. That's perfectly normal, I think. Um, and then there's undead guys. Like, there's got to be a point where... Oh, there's more lightning people over here. So, yeah, I think at this point, I'd probably be like, okay, if you guys aren't going to give me a place to stay, and on top of that, you're, you're going to give me these wackaloon quests to, to basically walk through Nightmare Island, um, you know what? Peace. I think that's what I would have said. I would be like, later, man. This is no good. So these, these are in eggshells. These are like, you know, the glyphs. They're stones. Um, kind of like an Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom. Some stones, or poly or whatever. Um, the path oh. becomes clearer with each bloody stone. Unlocked harbinger, whatever. Um, I think if I die, I lose harbinger status. I think that's how that's going to work. Uh, so I'm just going to keep hitting stuff over the head with the stick. Oh, come on. Right in the head. There we go. Just braining stuff right in the head. Uh, yeah. Hairless, hairless zombie raptors of doom. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Uh, Stone Age axe. That sounds cool. Scare mask. I don't know who I'm going to scare on this island. It's a scary mask. Yeah, it's a really scary mask. Oh, oh shit. The undead. Um, so, yeah. Boom. Damn. Boom. 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 I don't know how long I'm going to play this game. Probably forever. So I'm just going to be really bored all day. Or all night. Waiting. Waiting and stressing over silly stuff. Ooh, cool. 
black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage and hatred. I think that's the bog lashing of smelliness. Backs, tearing at our houses. So we're gonna be like, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. With shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock. And the wind. Oh, come on. The wind carries with it a restless cool. spirit that breeds melancholy and madness. Chained a belt. spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales so of misdeed around our I resting minds. Try not this game's kind of cool. It breaks we down items to, to like, ourselves. or the the parts of Some items of at first where it's like, yeah, you're gonna get kind of these things, fight. you know, in a row. You're gonna get a vest, you're gonna get some gloves, then Calm you know, shoes, those that quarrel, and then from shoes, that you get like kind of the smaller accessories like rings and stuff like that. Um, and then it's we like, hey man, do you want a belt? It's like, yeah, I can use a belt. I can use a belt. Yeah, man, I can use a belt. Um. So this is available. We can uh, equip that. Toss that guy out. Don't want that guy. So we got one glyph. One small flask. I'll just keep it for the moment, but if it starts taking up space, I'll get rid of it. Or if it's in the way. So that's cool. Now we have a shield. They changed that. That used to just be a blue glow. Um, so mana and life regeneration or armor increase maximum energy shield. So we're going to go back to this and apply... We'll try to get through to here. So that's one, two, three, four, five more levels. So we'll probably get through, I don't know. Not really Act 1, because Act 1 is kind of long. Um, as I beat this guy over the head. Um, but we'll try to get to that level at least. I don't even know what time it is right now. I don't know if we're streaming. Ah, oh, it's a boss. It's a boss. Oh, it's a boss. 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 There we go. Because I was hitting W or I was hitting Q instead of one. Don't you love that when like you're playing one of these games and you're just like, oh yeah, I'm hitting. Why is nothing happening? You're like, cause I'm an idiot. Cause I'm an idiot. Uh, all right. Homeboy's dead. Homeboy's dead. All right. Cool. Fish scale gauntlets, neat. Chest plate, tribal club, copper sword. All right, I don't want any of those. So I'm gonna be a little more picky as time goes by. I wanna start refining my character um, in a sense of kind of gearing them, getting ready to gear them towards what I'm gonna be playing for the majority of time, which is somewhat important because um, I wanna get used to that, right? I wanna get used to a particular play style and not be like, oh, I have no idea what's going on. Um, like, I would pick up that Driftwood Mall, but I kind of need the shield right now to keep me alive for a little while. It's been helping me out a lot. And I don't think it's going to give me a bonus enough of damage to make it really worth my while. Like, I don't think I'll be killing things that much faster. Um, I'll be lighting zombies on fire, of course. Transmutation... Uh, one of these. Cool. Take that. Stand over here. Get that guy. Get this guy. Get that guy. Get that guy. That guy. Get this guy. Get that guy. Get this guy. And that guy. And his brother. Cool. What's in there? Oh, it's a frog. Um, what else we got around here? I like clearing an entire level before leaving it. Um, I don't usually double back. Sometimes I will to get up on level. If I think the place I'm going to is going to be a bit difficult. There's a prison in this game that's pretty pretty creepy. I don't usually double back on that. Um, chainmail vest. I'll pick that up. Oh, for, you know, just minding my own business. These fools got to come up and be all like, Rawr. What are you doing, roaring at me? What's, what's this rar stuff? Um, so, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Scroll of Wisdom, Twig Shield, Chest. A crude bow. Weapon for a more 
civilized time when we would chop each other's limbs off and they would cauterize the wound immediately so then we would just have a bunch of people that had like no arms or legs. Um, that's much more civilized because, you know, killing is just wrong. It's wrong. It's better to maim and make people miserable and depressed for the rest of their lives. Um, boom. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. Grab that. Alright, so we got all three of those little gems. Alright, oh. We totally passed this because I was looking at the minimap. I do that. I tend to like brush the minimap scale. That is not what I'm looking for. Inventory. So, 27, 8 energy shield, 21. Oh, that's even better. So, we're going to use this. All right. So, that's good. Fish scale gauntlets. That's evasion. I don't care about evasion. So, I have all the glyphs here. I have an orb of transmutation. I don't typically... This is weird. Like, I don't typically use the orbs mainly because i like to just find stuff and I, I like the rng of the whole thing like of these games however um i totally understand if people are totally into the crafting system which is also kind of rng um so that's cool latency is 3.3 milliseconds so we're losing time as always uh bam just gonna hit this guy in the head all right, I've successfully brained him to death. Okay, so I found these things, right? And it's going to say, clue is the purpose of the glyph. Okay, well, I know what the purpose of the glyph is because I've played this before. Um, there's three of them. Uh, there's an area... Oh, there's more dead dudes. Dead dudes on the corner of 75. This is where the fun begins. Uh, it's not pixelated. It's dead. Um, oh boy. These guys are blue. So because they're blue, they're going to have like frenzy of damage. They're going to be a little more powerful. So I'm just going to have to brain them a little harder than I'd have to brain like a normal enemy. Boom. Done. Power ring. Cool. Chain belt. Driftwood club. Skinning knife. Okay. Flash shank, nothing. Oh, that's right. I can do this and bring up the mini map. That's tab. If I hit tab, I think that'll happen. I mean, it's kind of neat, kind of not. I think I can adjust the opacity. Oh, here we go. Staff. Cool. Excuse me for yawning. I'm tired. I work just like all of you. Oh, for the love of Christ. Put you there. Put you there. Take you, throw you out the window. Put you here. Take you, throw you out the window. Put you here, and put you here. Boom, so now we've got that. So that's good, we got the weapon that, we, that I've been wanting. Well, I have the weapon I've been wanting. I don't know what you guys want. Um, so yeah, what are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Christ on a crutch or something. Um, I'm going to have to go potty soon. It's going to be glorious. I need two for today. It's not often you're blessed with two dumps. It's not often. I was talking to uh, one of the buddies of, uh, well, me. And uh, we were talking about how there should be a, like a special holiday for amazing dumps. Because sometimes in life, that's really what you have to look forward to. Uh Oh, that works. Um simple robe. I don't want a simple robe. It's a very simple robe. Doesn't think much. Kinda slow. Um so yeah, I'm just going to kind of skirt around here. So I opened up that cavern, which is going to be the first kind of underground dungeon we're going to get to. It will not be the last. In fact, a lot of the dungeons here are underground and pretty sick. Hit you in the face with... Wow. 
Plate vest, battered helm, portal skull, gnarled branch, zombie getting brained. Okay, Excuse me, I'm getting very yawny. I did, uh, let's see, I did 35 minutes of elliptical on, um, well, I mean, I don't know if you guys know how that works, but, um, oh, it's this guy. This kind of variable thing where I'll do 35 minutes, including cooldown, um, of elliptical because my I'm a dork and I don't know how to run on a treadmill, which is a thing. So if people like are like, man, you need to get on that treadmill, I'd be like, I don't know how to use one that well. Like running on it's awkward and I'm not comfortable and my knees hurt, yada yada yada. But, um, yeah, I did like 35 minutes on that, and then I did a, did 25 minutes to a half hour. I think it was a half hour, actually. But I should not have done because I wasn't feeling well, but whatever. I don't care. So this guy's a necromancer. You just, these, you're going to see these guys a little... Oh, for, die. Um, you're going to see these guys, those guys quite a bit in some of these levels. They're a pain in the butt because you're gonna like you're gonna be killing stuff. And they're just gonna resurrect them. That's all they do. Like they don't really cast offensive spells that much. Um, if they do, they're not usually that damaging. But they just kind of go. You know what? Uh, that thing you killed? Nope. And remember, every time you kill it, it's not. You know, it's not like you can like. I, I've tried like doing the whole like. Well, what if I just let it resurrect stuff? I'll just get experience. And, like, no. They thought of that. They're like, nope. You killed it once. That's your experience. After that, you're done. Um, wow, there's gonna be, I think gonna be like a serious potty time right here. Very soon. Potty potty, potty potty. <laughs> do 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 do. So I killed the necromancer. Now I gotta. I think I have to clear out this entire area. I think it's one of the few levels where I gotta clear everything out. Man, maybe I should make. Oh no, I have tea. What am I talking about? So I was like, well, maybe I should make coffee. I mean, maybe I should just because like. So <clears throat> Ben's gonna be out of town tomorrow, so I gotta take. Uh, or he's going out of town tomorrow, so I'm gonna take him to the airport. And after that, I really don't have anything to do because it's gonna be like right in the middle of the day and i don't really feel like just running back here so i don't know hoping i can hang out with like Dean or something or maybe amy or something like that probably should be saying it no she's been on stream so she can deal with it uh chest plate rusted hatchet um i'm not missing anything am i no i'm not oh my gosh oh my gosh just gonna keep hitting these guys in the head. Oh, I've leveled up twice. That's kind of neat. I'm not really like the kind of. I don't really need to like go. Oh, I leveled up. I need to add that right away. I mean, the beginning it's kind of important. That's the Windows button. Um, in the beginning it's kind of important, you know, because you really don't have anything. But um, there's a point where you're just like, meh, meh. um. going on here that's clear
All right, that's clear. Kill all the monsters in the fetid pool. Did I do that? Wipe out monsters in the fetid pool. Break some eggs. Okay. So let's just, I think I got everybody. We're just gonna do a real quick lap just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like I got over there. It's a pile of bodies. Clearly that was my fault. Oh, nope, there's this guy. Ooh, he's gone. This is good. Cool. So that's done. We'll take that. Um, so that's all done. Cool. Talk to Tarkley. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of hoping to get out for the weekend. Ben's kind enough to let me use his car in case I can't get mine back for the weekend. Um, but I kind of, I kind of want to get my car back. Um, I'm like dead broke right now. Um, so, which again, if you want to be a patron, that would be great. Um, I could do make more video games and help these guys out a little more. Probably get some hardware and software is going to be my main priority. So I can help them make games and help them make uh, music. Uh, which I have. Like, I have. That's pretty sick, right? Like, really kind of proud of the fact that um, I've had the opportunity to work on uh, a cartoon and make little cues here and there which I put a lot of pressure on myself to do things as best I can not necessarily the best there is because that's unrealistic but the best I can and if I feel like I've not put in everything then I feel really bad because I'm like ah, I could have put more effort into that so I think that's a good way to go right do the whole like I, I could have put more effort into this not that I had to do it perfectly but I could put more effort into it um, but I didn't. I actually gave it my all like crazy. Um, and I enjoyed it a lot. So hopefully, hopefully I can get some stuff there and hopefully I can not be like dead frickin' broke. Um, and, you know, stuff. Neat stuff. So this is gonna be, this is the first subterranean level that we've seen, I think. I mean, technically they're all the same if you really think about it, but the lighting's different and it's certainly comes across the great feeling of like, you know. We're gonna back off for a second to heal up. There we go, he's dead. Alright. Some people might think, hey, you know, Patreon, you know, asking begging for money. I have no problems with that. No problems with that. I'm gonna make the world go round. If you can put up a dollar for a month or so. Wow, really? I didn't know you were old enough to buy those. <laughs> Dude's amazing. Um, okay, so let's see what we got in our inventory. Armor, no, no. No, 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 I just wet myself. I'm really excited. All right, so now continue. That that All right, what do we get here? Frost bomb, molten shell, flame totem, astral protector. Someone's an astral totem. I don't want to do totems. Vigilant strikes, kind of a powerful magic you can gain fortified buff. Uh, Summons a fiery elemental shield providing additional armor for a short duration. If cumulative physical attacks prevent, prevented by your blocking or armor reaches a threshold, shield explodes outwardsly. That sounds pretty dope. It's a buff though. And Vigilant Strike I can get later. So I'm going to take Molten Strike. No, not Molten Strike. Molten Shell. Bam. A necromancer. Just the one, was it? I guess the bastard got a bit lonely, decided to make himself some pets. Yeah, you know, those well, necromancers. Good to see you don't mind. You know, they, they bring the dead back. Here. You know. What was that? What was that? Uh, what's this? Hey, Dogen. Oh, you're talking to Brianna. That's right. What is this going to do? Book of Regrets. Oh, I get two passive skill points back. Cool. I've traveled inland. Continue. On the Rowers. Rowers? 
Overgrown chickens with a murder. Um, he was about to say Be like you should probably travel further into the area like and worms. blah 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 That's blah it. blah blah. Be sure to rifle through their nests if you get the chance. There you go. And you're Rose gonna go. Like Attracted to what shines. You're gonna be nothing. You're gonna go here. Cool. Um, and I think that's going to put, you'll see when I change this out, it's going to put some neat stuff there. The Emperor's Hand, I open that up. Cool. That's why I was talking about going further in. Uh, let's sell this stuff, huh? Let's, let's make them jams. Hello. Bring in them jams, Rois. Don't tell Tarkley, but they're the foulest fowl I've ever tasted. Still, exiles can't be choosers. Exiles can't be choosers. Hey, man. That's what I tell myself every day. An exile like me, which I basically am, except uh, inventory. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna Take go care. here. We're gonna go boop, 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 boop. All right, we're gonna uh, put you there. Oh no, I can't. Grants two passive respec points. Wow, there. So, oh, I see. Now I can refund if I wish. Okay. Um, but I don't wish. So we're going to do another armor. We're going to do another man on life regeneration. And we're going to hit apply points. So there you go. We're getting, we're getting better, man. We're getting better. We're getting stronger. The power of the divines are helping us um, get through this very difficult task of murdering people. How did I get back here? Oh, I, did I use the teleporter device? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh, the submerged passage, right. Kick him in the face. Um, yeah, so I can do this. And it's gonna go away after a short period of time, I guess. Right? Clearly, I'm not getting hit enough. So these these crustaceans are a pain in the butt because you have to um you have to kill them like twice because they have a shell. Um, and once you knock the shell off, then you can actually hurt them. And then once you hurt them, they die. They die. Um, you know it's pretty typical. Rick's, Rick's killing Morty's. That's how that works. You know. Um, I'm still waiting for. I mean, this last episode was really good. It really was intense. I think that's the thing is like, Rick and Morty lately has been just really intense. But I wouldn't say like they're like blowing my mind in a way of like I would have never thought of that. Like no, no, no. I totally would have thought of that. That mountain shield helped a lot. Tribal club, superior crude bow, chain belt, anything that must die. Alright, that's fine. Do, 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 Boom! Everybody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. That's right. I feel like, was it Bill Paxton in uh, Aliens? He's like, oh, you want some? Oh, I got some for you, man. How about you? I got, I got some for you too, stupid alien face. We'll kick your butt. Right? And he's like, I'm freaking out, man. I'm totally freaking out. There's like aliens and stuff. It's like, dude, come on. Really? You're a space marine and it's the first time you've encountered aliens? Wow. What a rookie. What a rookie. I eat face huggers for breakfast. New breakfast cereal, face huggers. Uh, oh, here we go. So that's the flooded depths. That's where the super huge killer crab is. Yeah. So we're going to go there. 
Um, we're gonna kill this crab. We've just, you know, we've been fighting crabs this whole time. Uh, this should be a lesson to all of you on hygiene, as well as pick your partners a little better. Um, I go off of smell. I don't literally mean particular areas of a person, I just go in general, and that seems to work really well for me. Uh, people who have issues tend to smell funny to me. Uh, not that I avoid them completely, because I do deal with people that have interesting smells. But, uh, you know. There's that. Uh, nothing really here. No, nothing in there. Good thing, too, because I could not be able to see what's going on. Boulder, I just kicked it over. It just rolled over like it weighed two, two and a half ounces at most. Uh, flap, 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 flap. So those guys, when they hit me, they're going to blind me, which doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to... Um, that I'm not going to see the screen. It just means that the area of light around my character will be smaller. Which you think, oh, that's nothing. But check this out. Oh, I knocked him out of the out of that spell casting or the, out of the cast. But um, yeah, just means the light around me will get smaller. Which, like I said, it doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, it's dark and creepy in here. And uh, you know. Dark and creepy. Uh, something I've never been known to be. Creepy. Uh, that's actually not true. Some people think I'm creepy. I don't know why. It might be because I'm gnawing on... Uh, oh, there we go. Bones. Yay. All right, whatever. And we're going to keep that. This demonic craziness going on here. All right, that's good. Superior shabby jerkin. I have a superior shabby jerkin. Oh man, I just have the regular one. I wish I had a superior shabby jerkin. Well, you know, I mean, it's still kind of shabby, but it's like superiorly shabby. Like the shabbiness is superior to your shabbiness, which if that means anything, which it doesn't, then there you go. Um, Bam! And you're hitting the head. Uh, you know, if you don't have any expectations in life, you really can't be uh, disappointed. You know, in fact, the only real, di uh, like, like real, like major um, expectation is that you're gonna just die one day. Then you're gonna be pretty satisfied throughout life. I can tell you that much. Man. Come on, cast that. Oh, for, for Pete's sake. There you go. Boom, boom. There's a way to like increase the... Dude, dude, dude. Dude, 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 dude. He's dead. His buddies are gone. The way of the dodo. And we're set. Pick up that scroll. Pick up that rusted coif. Ooh, that looks good. Whalebone rapier. Tribal club. Something vest. Okay. Wrapped mitts. I think those are evasion. No, energy shield. Evasion and energy shield. Okay. Um... I'm not really worried about this. Inventory. Let's see here. We're definitely going to identify that. And it is identified as a flying object. Put you there. Take you out. Wait. What the hell? Didn't I have... Oh, that's this thing. Alright, I can put that there. Um, you're gone. You're totally gone. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Those are good. Alright, let's move on. Um, so we're looking good, like, we're looking pretty good here, right? Characters, I mean, the characters in this just look miserable. And it's such a neat, you know, that's like what's kind of cool is like, when you're designing something or making something, sometimes it's not supposed to look perfect. In fact, most of the time it's not, because things in life aren't perfect, whatever that is. Whatever perfect is, life is not that. Um, and life is pain, and if anybody says otherwise, they're selling you something. wonder where that came from. Anybody know where that quote came from? 
so really we're looking snappier we're, we're stronger than we were the day before yeah I pretty much yeah I covered all that so we're doing well here I probably should check what time it is but I also kind of don't care I kind of don't care I kind of am having a good time right now so we're going to keep playing um I guess the only other thing I could think about playing other than this game would be No Man's Sky, which is just the bomb diggity right now, and I don't have any time to play games. Really? I Well, I should take that back. I don't put time into playing video games. I've played so many in my life, I have to wonder if it's even, uh, if it's even worth it. Oh, I just kicked that guy while he was down. He's like on the ground, like, oh, you're the camp. Cool. Oh, that guy's still alive? What the hell? Oh, right, because they have the shell. There you go. Just kick him in the face real quick. Ultimately, the only thing one needs to really do is kick someone in the face. pretty good. It's, it's subtle. It's not overpowering. It's not, you know, too epic. It's just, it's whiny and it's, it's uncomfortable, which is kind of what I get it. Like, this is the feeling I get from this game. Like, this whole island is just like, uh, uh, it sucks. Everything sucks. But, like, there's really creepy shit going on, so it's kind of like, uh, there's creepy shit going on. What? That's kind of creepy. These, like, noodle people are spawning noodle people. So, yeah, that's, like, kind of how I would, I would describe this game as somewhat creepy and whiny. Um, which, I don't know. I mean, maybe the designer, the lead designer, is kind of a creepy, whiny guy. Maybe it's just like, oh, I don't want to make this game. And it was like, come on, dude, it's really good. No, I don't want to make it. And like, come on, dude, it's really good. And he's like, oh, all right. That could be a thing. Yeah. Like, I tend to be, like, kind of a cheese ball and, uh, like, a horrifying romantic. So, like, that's really kind of the games that I make are just, like, and I don't mean romantic in a sense of, like, like just, you know, like, tradition, like, I guess the most obvious definition of, like, romance of, like, you know, hanging out with somebody and being romantic. Um, more in the sense of, like, um, just romanticizing things, making them seem more fuzzy and more emotional than they really kind of are, maybe? Or exaggerating that to get the, get the emotions going. Um, so, yeah. I enjoy it, actually. I was asked why I was this way, and I was kind of like, well, the answer I gave was kind of a cop-out, because I tend to do that often. Like, I tend to not give people, like, direct answers, because I tend to cop-out on shit. Um, but my response probably should have been something along the lines of, because I enjoy it. I enjoy the effort, and I enjoy the thought put into making things more, yeah, feely than they probably need to be, but... That's just how it is. I have feelings. In fact, I think my mom told me I'm like the most sensitive person she knows. And I'm like, wow, thank you. Very sensitive. I was kind of sensitive at the time. I was like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm afraid. Why are you picking on me? Um, that's usually my response to everything. So, yeah. I wonder how many... Let's see, after I murder these people... Which, by the way, is pretty powerful for you. Oh, that's right, there's these goat guys. Man, talk about creepy. Goat people are creepy. Goat people are way creepy. Like, oh, there's a gem that fell, right? Oh, no, an iron ring. I'll pick that up. Boom. Bam. Boom. So, I have a really weird question. How many people think that, like, that, like, Russia is really involved 
with like bribing our politicians. I'm not going to say that they're not because there are plenty of countries, OPEC countries being one of them, um, certain countries of a religious persuasion um, are another, that do. And they do it for their own best interest, which is only something that you can admire in their cleverness. Um, and when they screw up, you can only be disappointed in their, uh, what you gonna call it, in their sloppiness, right? Because, you know, we don't want to have to deal with that idea. Like, that's what the government wants that for. We don't want to have to mess with that. Um, but at the same time, I mean, like, I don't know. I just don't think they care enough. I don't think Russians care enough about us and what we do. Because, you see, like, we talk about money and stuff. But the truth of the matter is, is they have, like, the biggest nuclear bombs in the world. I don't mean big in a sense of like, man, that's a large missile. Like, I mean big as far as like, wow, that whole whole small country is just gone. Um, and so, and I think like when push comes to shove, you know, we're like, oh, well, nobody will ever do it. Well, you know, push comes to shove. No beast of burden. You know, people are going to be like, well, that's, you can't be talking bad about my mom's like that. So I'm going to have to drop bombs on your ass. Um, yeah, it's gone. Uh, you'll go there, you'll go here. So, I don't know, I, I think, I don't think they care enough. I don't think it's like, they're probably just like, uh, uh, I don't care. Like, I don't care what you Americans do. Just don't, you know, don't pick a jerk. I mean, we, we've picked a jerk, like, every single time, pretty much. Except for me, no, no, we're all jerks. But you gotta be a jerk, man. If you wanna be a leader... You gotta be a jerk. I mean, you gotta be like, you know what, man? Like, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to be a jerk about this. And, you know, make tough decisions, which, I mean, aren't really tough decisions if you're, like, if you're really kind of logical about the whole situation. Um, which we're never are. What is this, pal? Maximum mana? Sure, let's identify that. Uh, physical damage to attacks for game. Okay, well, we'll take that. That sounds fun. Um, this guy gives me what? Four physical and physical damage plus 20 damage. Let's just go with mana. I don't care about physical damage right now. Um, so I'm hanging out here on the ledge. Uh, sitting on the dock of the bay. Wasting time. Pooping in my pants and playing video games it's really kind of cool you should come over and do it with me in the pants. um wow there you go now we're going up here and we're going to open his chest coral amulet i'll take that i'll take that for 55 dollars chuck I ain't spending more than 55. Probably because I ain't got more in my bank than 55 smackaroonies. And they're like, wow, you got smackaroonies. He's like, I got smackaroonies. He's like, well, we only take dollars here. And like, well, I'm sorry, but you're going to take smackaroonies. They're like, okay, well, I guess we can exchange it. And then you just start smacking the person in the face. That probably would go over really well. So that's a totem. Enemies feed off of it, it'll give them abilities and stuff. I'm gonna take that out usually. There's one up here that's probably a lightning one. It used to be lightning, might be different now, but it's a bigger one. It's like a pro totem. Uh, bam. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. <sighs> I guess like what's the most like stressful thing right now is like, so I'm just gonna vent on you guys because you know, you're watching my stream. You're gonna have to hear the vent in. Okay, so let's do this. Boom, bam, apply points. So now I have mana regeneration and armor. Okay, and then this is gonna do life strength, intelligence, unallocated. Okay, and then this is righteousness. Righteous. Um, and then we're gonna go down the other side. Um, it's always good to go down both sides to make sure you've covered all your bases. Um, oh, it gets a bit narrow here on the ledge. Cool. Nice. I'm going to go here. Let me see what time it is just because I should figure out where I stand here in time. 
What I start at six? It's eight. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of the ledge. Um, just cause. So I don't need that. 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 Mana regeneration, life, I don't care about that. You're gone. You're gone. All right, accept. God Go back here. Right, so I should have, these should turn into an orb of transmutation, and it does. This should turn into one more scroll, which it does. I think I can hold 50 scrolls. That's an orb of regret, which I think Grants a passive skill refund point. That's kind of cool. I don't remember this game having that. All right, so there we go. Back to an open inventory. Um, I'm gonna have some tea real quick and do a little chatting. Well, actually, I should. Yeah. Mm. You managed to kill a granddaddy crab. A it's pity not even you couldn't lug it out anymore. of the caves for us. Could have made quite the chowder out of it. No matter. We've got one less reason to fear the dark. It's been steeping I've forever. More thing to thank you for. I'll add some hot water in a sec. Grants a passive skill point. Oh, well, there we go. Goatman. There's many a way to die in Rayclass. Most of them are mercifully quick. If you get caught alive by the Goatman, you'll wish by any god you believe in that you hadn't. I've heard some of the more superstitious exiles say there's a deity these Goatmen worship. Abarath. Eater of agony. Sounds like a right bastard, if you ask me. So if the I mean, the guy eats agony. Have dinner with the cloven god, you know. Tell them where to stick it. I think I think that qualifies him as a bastard. I don't know about you, but in my book, oh, was never the that's a bastard. Be strong enough to make our he eats pain and suffering for breakfast. Of a dead he just it's does it. It's incredible. Oh man, my legs are sore. It's a good thing I stood up. I'm gonna put hot water in this, guys. Man, my legs are sore. Probably have to do another stretch today. Probably do some sit-ups. Might even do a plank or two. Might. Just because I had that burrito and now I feel guilty. Also, this shirt's like... Not really helping any. It's making me feel weird. I don't know. I refuse to weigh myself. I don't know if anybody does that, like when they work out or they're on a diet, like you just don't weigh yourself. I don't. I uh, I grab clothing. Um, I grab clothing that like fit me like 10 years ago. Get like two or like a pair of pants, a shirt, I have a jacket. <clears throat> and if I can fit in them, awesome. If I can't, I got work to do. If I'm smaller than them, it's a problem. That's how I know. Because if I if my waist is smaller than when I was in my mid twenties, wow, there's a problem. Cause I can offer is yours. All right, whatever. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I just don't want to do it. Stop it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it no more. I'm done. Ah. They should do a Rick and Morty game like this. In fact, I don't know who the guys are that make Rick and Morty, nor do I care, but those two guys, if you want me to design a game for you, just let me know, because it would be amazing, because I'm amazing, um, and we have this really amazing uh, composer named <laughs> Jacob the Kaufmans, um, who would compose all the music. And since you guys already have a wonderful library of music, um, it would be great. Because, like, if you think about, like, Rick and Morty, when I think about Rick and Morty, I think of, like, I think of, like, a Mario 64 kind of thing, where you have these portals, right? You would go to the Rick Citadel or whatever. Well, first you start on Earth. You probably have, like, an intro to stuff. You would play as both Rick and Morty. You would not play as one or the other. Even Sarah. You play as Sarah. 
I don't know if I would do it as an RPG, like a turn base, probably not. Um, I don't think I would do gimmicky stuff like the things on rails, although the Mad Max episode would definitely be something you could do on rails, but I don't know if I would. Um, and I think overall, about five million. Five million, and I could probably pull that off for you guys. I would make a great Rick and Morty video game. And I don't mean like, oh, look, you know, he's poor on his, like, poopy pants dimension. No, 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 no. I'm talking like pulling dimensions out of the show, making up new ones, um, because, you know, that's how it works. They make it up. Um, get into some of the philosophies of things, right? Like, the interactions between Rick and Morty are huge. But their interactions and reactions with the, the universes around them, or that they are in, is also enormous. Because you're going to see the aftermath of what that's like, you know? And to be able to give the player an experience of like, this is what you did, right? Like, you have choices to a certain extent of, you know, harming or not harming, or making choices that may shift the result of the outcome of a particular universe, or your, your, the area of the universe that you're affecting, I guess. Um, there is definitely a way to do that and, and make it so the reactions of Rick and Morty are not something that the player is not Rick and Morty. The player is controlling the adventure, but Rick and Morty are still themselves. They're still going to be there. Um, I don't think I would do something as cheeseballish as like, oh, you know, they're going to talk to you and be like, oh, this dimension is the video game dimension. I mean, that would be cool, like maybe one level, but I wouldn't do something like that. That's just too cheeseball. It's too cheeseball and too easy to do. Um, and I think it's a bit of a cop-out to do something like that. Um, I would definitely make it where it is theirs. And actually, uh, you know, you could even do, and I would, I would dare say, I would do, like, even an adventure-type setup. Um, where most of the game would be sort of adventure-based, figuring things out. Um, and, you know, getting into the adventure itself. Where then, after that, it would be very much, um... Sorry, just a big totem. Kudaku. They say false god, but like... Is there such thing as a false god? I mean... There's either a bunch of beings that are really baller and can do things we can't do or probably not even imagine. Which would be definable as a god. Or there isn't, and we're the only jerks in the neighborhood, and life is short and painful. Um, blue dudes, why am I getting blue? Oh, there's that, that guy right there. Well, you know, the more I hit this guy, the more I realize he needs to be hit. I can milk this guy for more. There we go. I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, I would do like an adventure, choose your, like not choose your own adventure, but like an adventure game like D3 or something like that. Or even like, um, what was that silly werewolf game? Um, probably do something like that for the, like, the interaction parts, um, the story is involved, setting up, and then the portal gun becomes kind of this uh, tool, as it is, to travel between the different dimensions. Um, and what will be interesting is showing how that works, right? Like, they always just push buttons and stuff, but like, what does that actually look like if you were holding this thing, you know? 
Um, and the answer is we all don't know. Um, we have no idea what that would be like um, and how Rick navigates that. Because is it just like, like, it says like Rick C something, Rick G something. So is that how it is? You just type that in. And what do those letters and numbers mean? And can the player be able to somewhat determine what's going on? Um, in other words, can they figure out the address? Like, can the player go, oh, well, if the G's are this, then the C's are this, and the D's are this. And then if it's a single digit address, then it could be like primitive, where it's like, like, for example, I would do it since you can't really, I don't know, you could have one dimension. I could do it in one dimension. Um, a pulse of strength. Um, but, uh, let's say C23 would be a two dimensional universe that um, is recognizable by, um, you know, the dimension when you walk into it, and the C could be like. What would I do with that? I mean, I wouldn't call it, like, you know, canting or something. Like, I wouldn't do, like, I wouldn't pick a word like can or could or cars or something like that. Like, but I would pick something that would be, like, a definable, like, if it's an A, then maybe that's the frequency? Maybe. Maybe that's the frequency. And so the more complex, the more base the frequency is. And so that way the player could eventually be like, oh, well, if it's got two numbers and it's a C, then it's gonna be kind of, like a middle, like C's a common note, right? So then I could do blah, 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 blah. And I know I'll be faced with blah, 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 right? Um, where if I did something like, oh, it was two, seven, three, then I know it's a three dimensional, right? And if it was like two, seven, three, four, then it would be a four dimensional, right? Uh, which means something like maybe like, inhabitants exist in, uh, among all time, uh, which would be interesting, because then you have to, like, have Ricks that, like, knew the future, right? Like, and the past, and the present, and they can't, ma they can manipulate, not necessarily directly, like, I'm going to change the past, but they can manipulate, um, their present based on their foreknowledge and ex excellent knowledge of the past, because, like, we forget things in the past, right? Our memories aren't perfect, but these guys might have that. They might have the power to be, not the power, but they would have the dimensional ability to do so. Um, that would probably be it. I mean, like, fifth dimension, I don't know about those sorts of things. Um, as far as, like, actual um, physical dimension. What in balls is that? What in balls? Dead wheel? Who does this to a person? It's like... It's a handicapped zombie. It's like, oh, this guy doesn't have any legs. You know, he's in this horrifying Humble accident. Servant thanks you, my god. Uh huh. Um. It's like somebody took a poor person, like a poor crippled person. It was like, we're just gonna tie him to this wheel and they're gonna roll around and eat people. Ha 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 ha. Um. All right. So we have another one of these. Oh, what does this give me? Increased mana, reduces mana cost of skills. That's kind of important. Actually, it's really important. Increases elemental damage with attacks, plus 10 strength. Okay. And then this is the staff. So maybe I'll go this. I'll go up here. Elemental damage. And I'll go down into here. And then I'll go here. Here to here. Maybe connect these up to get some extra intelligence. Um, yeah. But I don't know if I'm going to go in this direction very far. Mind over matter, damage taken from mana before life. 30% is taken from mana, but I don't know if I like that. Um, anyway, so we're going to increase maximum mana by 14%. So that is 21, uh, 1, 21, 22, 22. Let's see how close I am. It's 164. No, 164. Why would I have thought that was 22? No, it should have been. What the balls? I don't know. 
point one four times one sixty four is fourteen seven point seven is twenty one. I don't understand why that came out to that number. I don't know what I'm doing in life anymore. I'm pretty sure my math is right, but whatever, I didn't make the game. Um, or they're basing it off of some kind of thing I'm not aware of. Oh. Looks like they all died. Um, you might ask yourself, Oh man, I tell you like when I was in Mexico, like I was obsessed with talking heads. Don't ask why. I think it was because like, I don't know if you guys know this, but like, talking heads are like, I don't know, they're not really my favorite as man, but they're like, they just have this like 80s swagger type fun thing, and I don't remember who the main guy is who does that whole thing. Wacka 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 moles. Oh wow, that thing just smashed into that wall for no reason. Like it's literally no reason. Look at that thing. This is, don't you get a headache from doing that? Like it's like brain damage and stuff. You know, you're you're going down. Baby. You're going down. Um, yeah, I listen to a lot of talking heads. Um, not necessarily like well, kind of their hits. But also, like, I really like, um, the book I read was, like, probably one of my favorite kind of love songs, I guess. Um, just because it's so sweet. Like, it's just such a sweet song. Um, played that a lot at the time. Got a buddy of mine into him for a while. Well, he still likes him, of course, because he's, he's a musician and out there, and he enjoys music a lot, a lot, a lot. Wait, honor, sacrifice, what? Oh, just goat people? Honor, sacrifice, and goat people. Yay. That's what I want. I want honor, sacrifice, and goat people to attack me. Lionize standards. What's going on over here? Man, there's a bunch of dudes over here. Well, there's a whole bunch of dudes over here. It's like a whole bunch of fools over here just being fools. Fools being fools, fool. Ain't thinking about nothing but being a fool. Please. Yeah, the book I read is probably one of my favorite love songs. So, ladies, if you ever want to woo me, that's how you do it. Go, hey man, what's your favorite love song? And I'd be like, well, you know, kind of in general, the book I read by Talking Heads. And I'd be like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. You should take me out to dinner and play that in the car and then, you know, feel me up. That'll work. That'll make me feel like a man. That's the whole point. Make me feel like a natural man. See, that's the thing, like, y'all just, like, want, like, these equal rights and stuff. And I don't believe in equal rights. I believe in. So people have to fight to the death in an arena to solve their problems. So, I'm going to equal rights, fine. I demand women play love songs for me, take me out to dinner, and woo me. And I reserve the right to say, well, you know, I just, I'm not really in the mood right now. Not feeling it. Um, I can deal with that. It's probably a disappointment, actually. I'd never be disappointed in something. I totally respect that feeling. I just don't see any reason why I should not be able to do that myself. So 
I wouldn't do it, like, I wouldn't go out of my way to do it. Like, if I wasn't in the mood, I'd totally do it. But if I wasn't in the mood, I'd be like, no, I'm not in the mood. Get your hands off me, you pick. Um. Because that'll happen, man. That'll happen. I don't know how many times that's happened. I wonder if we're still even streaming. What is this guy? Vaughn? This wacko. You mean I? Uh, you mean ah uh, man? You mean like I saved somebody? Oh man. Thank you for freeing me. I don't know. Yeah, of, of course we're streaming. I can see it right here on my phones. To remind me of my place. Still have but five viewers. I know I'm one of them. Let me return the favor, exile. Nobody wants to talk to me. Why does nobody want to talk to me, man? I hate just like talking. I'm not gonna say anything anymore. Done. Done talking. I'm just gonna play this game. Forget about the fact that I'm streaming. Anybody got any questions? You can ask me. Um. Boop. batting cage this weekend. Ah, I want to go to a batting cage this weekend. Uh, I want to hit baseballs as hard as I can. Um, which is like a great feeling if anybody's ever done that before. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before. I said I wasn't going to say shit, but I'm going to say shit. Um, but yeah, it's a great feeling. Like, especially when you get like a, pr like just the ball just hits, like you can't even feel it. You just whack. And it's just like, wow, I hit that really hard. And it's probably going to go really far, but I wouldn't know because I'm in a batting cage. Which is so much better than having to chase down the ball, I'll tell you that much. The lower prison. Oh, I'm at the prison already. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's make sure. Did I miss anything? So there's like a weird part here in this game where... I think it's after the prison... Things get, like, kind of repetitive after the prison as far as, like, Act 1 goes. But once you get an Act 2, it's much better. And it's not as repetitive. And Act 3 is amazing. And I don't know if they added anything else. Um, I mean, they've had expansions, so I'm sure they added stuff. But, like, I don't know. I haven't experienced that stuff. So I can't speak on it. Um, it's like I've never experienced... Um, I don't know, a train falling on my head, so I really couldn't comment on what that's like. So, um, yeah. But, oh, there was a story, wasn't there a story, yeah, there's a story deal. Do we listen to the story? I don't know if I listen to the story deal. Um, story deal of the century. Uh, the black spirit infects living flesh and Ooh. bone. Ooh. The animals suffered first. Ooh. Their bodies changed. Their eyes filled with a hatred of mankind wow. that is beyond instinct. Now it is we who must bend and bow like saplings and before the, the seaborn game. The firstborn of the kingdom of Khan um, greeted us. I don't think this I can day. play the book I read. The firstborn like of copyright the kingdom of Khan was buried this um, day. But it's like still, Even our I'm children are not spared the black actually. spirit's touch. Probably gonna smoke what a have we done to enrage yeah, Rayclast? And I'm probably going to listen to it because come. that's like, again, Our one of my favorites. And I haven't listened to it in a while, actually. Stop listening to it. Um, at peace. A little while ago, a couple of, like, a year ago, right? It's October, so it's been about a year now. Less, actually. Wow. Or less, but whatever. Uh, I should actually see how she's doing, but I don't want to. Uh I'm going to wait until next year. I always try to get in touch with, like, past women just to make sure, like, 
hey, I know maybe I'm a dick or you're a dick or we're dicks or something, but like, how you doing? I hope you're alive. Everything's good. I hope like all of your dreams have come true. And I genuinely mean that because like there's nothing worse than being like, oh yeah, that's like my ex or whatever. And then they like find out they're homeless and they're smoking crack and like, you know, I don't know. It's just terrible. I'd rather them do be doing well. Rather than be doing well. I'd rather be the one suffering. I don't know. It comes easy to me. All right, so now we're in the prison. This is really cool. This is one of the cooler levels uh, in the Act 1. In fact, I think it's one of the coolest. Um, look at this. This is just nuts. Like, the lighting is really well done. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, like, okay, it's not perfect. But, like, it's just, it's just like, the game is ugly to, for a reason. Which I like. I like game like I like art like that. I mean like I should probably start drawing and showing you guys how ugly my art is because I purposely love things that are grotesque and uncomfortable. And I don't mean like, oh look, their guts are inside out and backwards. I mean like literally like the characters themselves are just wackaloons. Makes me feel better about myself. Also, side note, no, don't need that, I need that. Gollum Spark. Well, slap me around and call me Susan. It's not as good armor wise, but. Oh, rarity of items found? Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Hells the yeah. Brutus was a popular one in the schools of Theophilus. Oh, sorry, I got boogers and I'm not polite to deal with it. Not condoned by the um. Brutus was warden of Axiom Prison do, 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 and one do, of the most feared do, men do, do, in the do. Eternal Empire. What else is going on in the universe? Um, the a star a exploded. Actually, a bunch of them exploded. I don't actually have to prove that because the universe is so big I know it happened. Um, planets collided into each other. That was pretty cool. Um, an alien species wiped itself out. Uh, another one um, actually genetically altered itself to have longer thumbs. Um, see, I don't actually have to know these things because the universe, again, is so big. I don't actually have to prove any of that. It certainly did happen. All right, let me sell these items. You're gone, 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 are gone. Um, Farewell. Do I have to put this somewhere? I do have to put this somewhere. Balls, 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 balls. Balls, balls, balls. Balls, balls, balls. We have balls. You have balls. Ballsy, ballsy, balls. Ballsy, ballsy, balls. Is it choice that carries you here? Or is it fate? Oh, please. I see a need in you. I don't know, choice, uh, that whole like illusion of choice, future. doesn't that mean you can go back and I change it? The right it's not the whole point of choice. Yo, it's choice. Oh, cool, so I'll, I'll choose this. Oh, that didn't work? So oh, I take that back. Right. I think that's the whole point. Like, free will, that means nobody's controlling you, I guess. But what does that mean? Like, now they call me a circumstances control you, dog. That's how it works. So do you really have free will? I don't know. I don't. For now, I you know, stand with one not in every world, aspect of the universe. I mean, and the other foot complete the free will. Wow. I'm wow. Of the uh, let's see I'm what else happened in the universe it. today. Uh, a black hole collided with another For black hole, silver, and they had it. three baby black holes. That happened. Um, a comet Riches. Flew past a moon that was inhabited by sentient These monkeys, and the monkeys sacrificed way. half of well, their warriors to, to appease their god. Uh, what else words, happened in the universe today? Um, an apple fell off of a tree, time, rolled down a hill, pain. and um, it is time to fulfill your prophecy. It's getting ready to turn into another apple tree. Uh, let's see what else. Um, space monk. No, I ever said monkeys. Monkeys are overrated. Uh, oh, the space cats. I don't know if you know about space cats, but cats. Planet of cats. Um, le e made uh, catnip illegal. Um, so now the black market for catnip is in full effect. Um, and crime has gone way up. 
Uh, I think this this prohibition on catnip is uh, terrible, I and uh, I think in maybe a few decades spared, they'll, they'll take that back, but you know, remembered. black market, Yama mafia, the white, they'll have some control for a while. Um, with the stone he holds what down. else is going on? Both were given a um, oh, did you hear that? But each there is an alien living purpose. on a planet in this galaxy that farted. The stone drags me deep yep, into its he core. farted. Where every uh, instant into eternity is known all at once. There is an alien on another planet who's doing a stream of a game Yama, kind of like this, the except they're all in that alien species, and instead of actually visions. gaining levels, they gain experience, and in order to gain experience, they have to go up levels. Um, yeah, gnar gnarly stuff, man. Is not the I mean, like, God the universe is so vast, you could just, like, make anything up, me. and it's probably happening Nama right now. Fire, yeah. In fact, it's power. guaranteed to be happening Kafor simply because we thought of, of it. That That's what I think is fascinating. So, that we may enjoy beauty uh, and peace. so there Dubohama you go. Dubohama provides us with weapons and knowledge of war, which lets us walk the path safely. And in the final days of this world... Kitava, whose hunger knows no bounds, will take it all away. This person seems really intense for some reason. Like everybody here is very tense. I will see you. Know, dead, dead There's people. There's a fine line between man and monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brutus, the warden of Axis. So prison. Brutus is kind of. I wouldn't say monster. he's a big lad. As you know a from Hillock, different sort of boss because when it comes to like single player in this game you're pretty much whacking things sucks. until they die so you whack run away Unless whack run away whack run away um kind of like in high school when you're peeking run. through the girls into the girls locker room you whack it you run away you whack it run away um but uh in multiplayer you know i haven't played a lot of multiplayer in this game in fact i've probably played this couple, first couple levels um because the people are playing with were flakes which reminds me, where are my where's his social screens? You're going. You're going. And uh, you're gone. So that's easy. Those guys are gone because they were flaky. Um, I don't like flaky gamer buddies. You're either gonna play with me, or you're gonna get off the pot. Um, you know, I think that we're, I think we're good here, actually. I think we did pretty well. I don't think there's anything I'm missing here. Kill Brutus, that's good. Like, I really do like the, um, um, I really do like the, uh, prison, so we could do that the next time I come in. I know I usually play fighting games, but, you know, whatever. I like to play games. I'm fighting in this game. That's my justification. Also, it's my choice, so poop on you. Um, next time we'll see if we can get these done. Maybe even get this far. Um, I don't really care about the levels in this game as far as being like a definition of how I've gone into the game or how far I've gotten in the game. It's really all about this right here. I mean, this is, this is the bee's knees. Um, yeah, free game. Can't argue with that. So, thank you very much for watching. Sorry I was late. I think I was an hour plus late. Um, and I've gone over my time by like, oh, I don't know if I started at six, which I doubt I did. Um, but, uh, what? No, don't block that guy. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I think I went slightly over my time, but you know, I was late. So I figured I'll do a little extra here. Really enjoy this game. Uh, when I get done with maybe... Well, actually, you know what? If any of you guys have this game or want to play this game, download it on Steam. It's free, uh, which is a great price. Free is one of my favorite four-letter words. My other favorite one starts with an F, but I can't say it right now. Um, funk. Uh, I love the funk. Um, yeah, download. We'll play. Probably going to pick up Destiny 2 when I get a chance. It's not something I can just grab right now. Um, but I'll probably pick it up. Um, I played the beta, and I'm hoping the beta doesn't carry over, like, my character that I made for the beta, because I didn't really, I didn't really mean to choose that one. I was, like, clicking the characters to see what they did, and it was like, well, you chose that one, and I'm like, no, man, I just wanted to see, 
<sighs> All right, I guess. Um, so I wouldn't mind playing that on stream. Like I said, if I can get uh, Nadine back here, uh, if she's free, then I'll probably throw her in front of that. She said she want to play a shooter. I don't know. I might get some Wolfenstein stuff, maybe download and put Doom on here. Um, you know, because she's like goth and stuff. So, yeah. We'll do... Uh, no, she's not goth. Um, so maybe, I don't know. I'm going to stress out about my car for the next couple weeks. I hope you guys are willing to join me in on that. Join with me on that. You can have stress parties. Um, hopefully I won't have another panic attack anytime soon. And that's about it. So, again, if you miss any of our streams, we have a YouTube channel. At some point, we're going to stream to both YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, something. we got to do all of it. Hopefully we'll bring Small Window back at some point soon. I, I've seen you guys talk about it on Discord. I want to address that. I don't know if Ben does because I don't watch Ben's stream. I don't know. No, I, he does. Um, we're still working on New Ren. New Ren is still moving forward. It's going a little slower than, of course, everybody in the universe would like, but it's moving forward. Um, and we have a Patreon. So if you want things to move forward maybe a little faster... You know, it's a dollar a month. Dollar a month, man. That's all That's all it is. If we could get one billion people, one, think about this, one billion people donating one dollar every month, bam, that's a billion dollars. Uh, you know, six months, we'll shut down Mint Potion and walk away. Um, so, yeah, help us out if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just watch our streams, get on our Discord, uh, check out our Twitter um, you can always download and purchase Jake's music. Jake's got a band camp, I think. I think he does. Yeah. Download his stuff. Spread the word that we make music. Watch OKKO. Um, you know, send, send Robbie lewd messages about how sexy he is. Let Ben know that his beard looks fantastic. That sort of thing. Um, don't, don't get in contact with me. Don't. Because I'm just going to send you pictures of my butt. Uh, so yeah. Thank you very much. I am going to shut down the stream now since I am all alone here by myself, all by myself. Oh, I think I broke everything. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. That's Mario's invincibility when he has the star and stuff. Oh, what are you playing? He's playing Destiny 2? Robbie's playing Destiny 2. Ooh. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. Talk to you later.